Please welcome the authors of The Portable Pediatrician, Dr. Bill Sears, Dr. Bob Sears, Martha Sears, and our very own Dr. Jim Sears. Yeah. <laughs> this is so a woman. I love this because this is a great book. You know, whenever I'm out and about, I'll meet moms and they'll tell me, especially even if, they, if their kids are older, they'll say, you know what, your books were so helpful and, you know, you started it all. And one of the things they ask me a lot is about the pills versus skills uh, and thing that we Jim, talked you about. know, the pills and skills is our trademark because doctor means teacher. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I'll come in, a patient will come in, I say, okay, I'm going to give you the pills, but I'm also going to give you a list of skills. Mm -hmm. And when you come back for, for a recheck, I may not refill your pills unless you show me you've done the skills. Yeah. It's not only doctor, what can I take, but doctor, what can I do? Mm -hmm. and I, I, I find as a pediatrician, we have to teach parents the skills they can use to get their kids through these illnesses without having to rely so much on medications. So I'm going to interject right here because I'm a mom, mm -hmm. and I'm a mom who actually used your book. Yep. And yes, this is how, how far and back how this Daniel goes now? because it, I wished I'd had the portable pediatrician then. But yeah, yeah my son is 19, and he and I, I use that book. And, and mothers and parents out there, it's so important to actually have a book. One, because you don't get instructions about your baby when you leave mm -hmm. the hospital as an obstetrician, yeah. I'll tell you that. Yeah. But as a mother, <laughs> um, we had to, when we sent our son to preschool, preschool, they actually wanted to know what books you read oh, when you were taking, yes, yeah. when you were taking care of your child. You, so You used the baby book, I think, which I was birth baby to age two, but this yes. book is birth through adolescence. There you so go. it covers everything. So I am going to put your all skills to the test and <laughs> randomly open this up. Uh-oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's see here. Let's talk about, and, and any of you can interject here, the sipping solution for a healthier gut. Oh, mm. Smoothies. Mm. A fruit and yogurt smoothie in the morning and you sip on it all day long. It's, mm -hmm. good, for, it's a good laxative, it's good for reflux, it, it helps so weight loss. Yeah. Keeps the insulin levels and smooth. Tastes mm -hmm. good. So yep. let's test you guys on another question. We always talk about growing pains on this show and you have circle versus point sign here. What's that all about? The main thing we want to do is tell when to worry and when not to worry. Mm -hmm. And that's where Easy the circle key. versus point Easy sign? Key. Yeah. Circle sign, vague, less of a worry. Point sign, mm -hmm. right here so or right yeah. there, yeah. more of a worry. It's usually in a limb, yeah. isn't it? Growing right. pains if they're always legs. pointing the so same it's always area. pointing right here, right. this yeah. hurts. That's probably, probably not, not growing, growing pains. No. Right. Okay. Point versus circle. And, and then see. maybe to try to help prevent them, you know, staying hydrated is a big thing, yep. stretching, massaging, and uh, even using a, a, a gel heel pad can right. kind of be a little easier on the limbs. Point is, the book is chock full of great advice for parents. You also all are a repository for it. Thank you for sharing this with us today. And I do recommend everyone to go out and pick up a copy of The Portable Pediatrician. And the Sears family is happy to give our entire audience their very own copy. Thank you all so very much.